Well, here's another case about undoing, or as we call it, vacating old judgments. In this instance, the wife claimed her ex-husband misled her regarding his income prior to the divorce. Two years after the divorce is settled, she tries to vacate the settlement agreement on the basis of fraud. But the appellate and the trial court both say, hey, we can't help you. And here's the reason why. DuPage Local Rule 15.18 subsection C required both parties in the divorce pair pretrial memorandums. So in this case, during the divorce, her lawyer prepared one that outlined the very allegation she now raises in her post-judgment petition to set aside the judgment. However, case law is very clear here. You know, to vacate under fraud, you have to set forth a specific factual allegation showing the existence of a meritorious claim, or as we call it, a very good reason, uh, demonstrate due diligence in presenting the claim to the circuit court, at least in the original action, and act with due diligence in filing the section 1401 petition. Now here, the wife kind of fumbled on prong number two. Instead of litigating the alleged income scheme when the case was pending at the trial level, she opted to settle it. However, 1401s are not do-overs. If she thought he was lying, the law kind of mandates that she litigate it then, not sit on your hands for two years and ask for a do-over later. Anyways, that's all I have. If you want more of these, hit that like or subscribe button because, hey, they're free.